I'll give it a shot. Oh, that's really good. That doesn't taste like beer. Hi, I'm Frank. I'm a professional chef, and these are my $203 barbecue chicken ingredients. Hi, I'm Beth, and I'm a home cook, and these are my $17 barbecue chicken ingredients. Every single time. Aw, here we go. I can make something out of this. Aw, oh, Frank, what did you do? So I was planning on making a hickory smoked barbecue chicken with a fresh corn spoon bread. I had an organic heritage chicken that I was going to break down into 12 parts. That's going to be the hardest part, I think. And dry brine with salt, paprika, and hickory powder. I was going to smoke my aromatic vegetables on a stovetop smoker, add that to some chicken stock, some dark beer. 14%? My husband would like this beer. To make my imperial stout barbecue sauce. My spoon bread was going to be rich and delicious, made with fresh corn and masa harina. He's going to have me make tortillas. I'm gonna smack him when I see him. My chicken was gonna be a smoky, caramelized, and glazed masterpiece. Just like a sculpture, you know? Chicken, though. With Beth's recipe, I have simpler ingredients you might find in your pantry or your grocery store. They might be on the simple side, but with a little skill, a little technique, I can make these delicious. If I had a guess, this tray would cost about $14. 17, come on, right? If I had to guess, this tray probably cost about $312. I overestimated, only $202. Chef Frank's recipe book. I'm scared. Hickory smoked barbecue chicken with fresh corn spoon bread. I've never heard of spoon bread. A few directions here. Butcher the chicken into 12 pieces, of course. Thank you, Frank. How am I gonna get 12 out of this? I like to start with cold meat when I'm butchering so it doesn't get all warm and squishy. I use a scissor because it's easier than a knife for me. I actually would consider the backbone one of the pieces. I love to eat the backbone. We'll have this little end piece as one of the pieces Frank was talking about, I'm not sure. This is the leg. I know that you cut it at the joint right through. Now I've got wings. This is just flimsy, so I know this is the thigh. Okay, so we're definitely gonna do the breasts in half. I don't know how to get 12 out of this. So we've got two legs, four breasts, two thighs. Do you want me to cut these little tiny wings in half? The wings are gonna be cut into two pieces, flats and drums. That's the only way to get 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There you go, Frank. And this is for stock. I can only imagine Beth was going to make a simple grilled chicken with some barbecue sauce and a macaroni salad, but I think I'm gonna have a little fun with it and make some chicken skewers with Alabama white barbecue sauce and a toasted pasta salad. Here I have Beth's chicken thighs. I'm gonna take the skin off, I'm gonna take the bones out, I'm gonna crisp up the skin, I'm gonna use the bones and make a stock, and then the meat's gonna go on my skewers. Boning out thighs is really easy. Pop that skin off. I take my skin and I'm gonna lay it out on a piece of parchment paper because I'm gonna crisp those skins up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the meat apart with my fingers like this. Rest the back of my knife on the bone. Basically just follow the bone on both sides. Get under the bone so my fingers touch. Take that out. If you have little pieces of chicken, they stay. And then bone in there. And then we can dice this up for our skewers. So instead of just cooking my pasta in plain water, I'm gonna add some chicken flavor to it with this kind of stock. That's what I like about boning out and butchering my own meat. I get lots of different things out of that one product. So I'm making a stock, and it's kind of a loose interpretation of a stock, just basically bones and water. And this is gonna give some chicken flavor to our pasta, and it's super easy. Into a pot. Chicken bones in. We're gonna bring this to a boil and then lower it to a simmer and let it cook for about 30 minutes. So I got this going. Now I can work on my crispy chicken skin. Let's make the brine. Let me just make sure I have all the ingredients that Frank wanted. Kosher salt, lots of salt for my Frank. Brown sugar, pepper, hickory smoke powder. This is wild. It actually smells like smoke. I use smoked paprika. It's just a slightly different flavor. We're not gonna use the backbone because that would make 13 pieces. Frank specifically said 12. I have my chicken skins ready to go. I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees, but I gotta put some flavor on these. Neutral 
extra oil. The extra oil is gonna help it brown a little more evenly and crisp more evenly. Rub it down a little. Season salt and pepper. Right, I want it to be crispy and just a little bit of bite from that pepper. They're seasoned up. I'm gonna throw them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. This is gonna add a really nice crunchy texture to our final dish. That's what we want, nice crispy chicken skin. I think we're using the dry brine to add more flavor and I really can't wait to see how that hickory smoke tastes. No other way to do this than your hands, I think. Set my chicken up to go in the fridge. It's really nice, it's a nice smell. Into the fridge. So I had the idea to take the barbecue sauce Beth gave me, add some salt to it, and make a dehydrated barbecue salt. I think it's gonna give us some nice smoky flavor, it's gonna give us a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of kick of salt. Let's do it. So we're going heavy on the salt, and then the barbecue sauce is just going in there, just enough to kind of color it. So right now, this is kind of a wet paste. The dehydrator is going to just take out all the moisture and give us a nice crumbly salt. Let's spread it out onto my sheet tray with some parchment. Try and get it into a really thin layer. Give it a stir once in a while, just to make sure that it's dehydrating uh, evenly. Goes in there for about two and a half hours until it's nice and dry, then we can crumble it up. It's been a few hours, let's get our barbecue salt out. And that's the texture that I want. It should be crumbly and easy to sprinkle. Slide it into the bowl, barbecue salt. The next thing I'm gonna make is the Imperial Stout barbecue sauce. With a smoker that I've never used before. Let's see what this says. Hickory smoke chips in the center. Make sure your wood chips are fully burning and smoking before you put the veg on. Just to get a nice smokiness into the vegetables. We don't want that raw wood flavor, we want some nice smoke. Onion, oh look at this, it's already starting to smoke. Garlic, I'm gonna just take the top off. I'm gonna assume that Frank wants the onion nice and soft. You need a good vent if you're gonna make this in the house. It's been like six, seven minutes. It's hard to get off. Wow, that's fabulous. Now it's time to make my Alabama white barbecue sauce. And it's a mayonnaise-based barbecue sauce. It adds moisture, it adds acidity, it adds some flavor to our chicken. So a mayonnaise-based barbecue sauce sounds crazy, but it's not really that crazy. Get your mayonnaise in there. Yellow mustard, some white vinegar. We want a little acidity in there. Garlic powder, some onion powder. Lots of black pepper, fresh cracked. Salt is a flavor enhancer, it makes things taste good. Whisk it together. All right, and now we're gonna take this and put about three quarters of it on my chicken. Mix it really good. So I'm gonna go throw this in the fridge, let it sit for an hour or two, and then we can skewer it up. I have never made barbecue sauce before. All good sauces start with sauteed onions and garlic, so I'm gonna assume that that's what Frank wants me to do. So Beth, after the vegetables are smoked, you wanna put them into a pot, sweat them out with some oil just to get them soft and translucent. Eventually, I'm sure we're gonna to have to blend it up. Leave my garlic whole. So let me get the uh, stem part of the tomato out. I want the onions and the garlic to be soft. I'm gonna put my tomatoes in. I'm not seasoning yet. There's lots and lots of seasoning for this sauce. Right now, we'll just get everything cooked down. And then you're gonna add the rest of your ingredients, let it come to a boil, lower to a simmer, and let it cook down. I think I'm gonna start with the chicken stock. About half of this, I think. All the ketchup. I love mustard. Apple cider vinegar. Who's afraid of hot? I don't know if bay leaves really matter. Brown sugar. How do you use this thing? <laughs> like that and then... Oh, gotcha, okay. Maybe half a bottle? I'm just gonna cook this down slowly until it gets thick and syrupy. It may not taste exactly like Frank's, but it's gonna taste good. All right, it's time to skewer my chicken. I like to use metal skewers. Now, they're reusable. You also get some heat transfer so your chicken cooks faster. I like to flatten it out a little so that I get kind of like a nice amount of surface area. Now, I know there's gonna be a ton of haters out there saying this is not barbecue sauce. Get off your high horse, try it out, and I guarantee you're gonna love it. I like to kind of just flatten it out a little. If there's any leftover sauce, just brush it on. Now now that my chicken is skewered, I can work on my toasted pasta salad. Now this smells heavenly. It's nice and thick. Get rid of that bay leaf. I'm gonna use this immersion blender. 
This will take care of most of the big pieces. I'm just gonna use the immersion blender until it looks like everything is smooth, and it does right now. I'm gonna strain the sauce just to make sure that everything, see, just a few things, a few big clumps. Frank should sell this. It's perfectly smooth, there are no more clumps. I'm gonna put some salt in here because he loves salt, and I like a little more black pepper, I think. That is so good. I'm done. Time to make the toasted pasta salad, and the first thing I need to do is toast my pasta to give it a little more nutty flavor. Preheat your oven to about 350. Pasta goes out onto your tray. Give it a shake, flatten it out, and then we just go into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes until it's nice and toasty brown. Fresh corn spoon bread. I have never made this before. You can't fake baking. I've got butter and lard. Masa harina. I'm just looking for it to be completely mixed up. While my pasta's in the oven toasting, I'm going to roast this bell pepper. I personally do not like raw bell pepper in salads, so I like to roast these. Better depth of flavor, and I think it just is better all around. So just plop it right onto the flame, and I'm just gonna let this char on all sides. While I'm waiting on that, I'm gonna chop my vegetables. I have some red onion, and then I'm gonna chop my celery, and I think my pepper is ready. This goes into a bowl. I have a little bit of cling wrap. We're gonna cover this up and let it steam. And the steam is basically going to separate the skin from the pepper so it's easy to peel. It's a little thick, that's why I'm adding the water now. Baking powder, salt. This is cornmeal, sugar, heavy cream. I'm gonna start mixing this up before I put my corn in. And in goes our corn. That's it. So at this point, my pasta is ready. Let's go grab that out of the oven. So you can see I have a nice little toast to it. It's not dark, dark brown, but it's nice and toasty and roasty. We go in with our chicken. What I'm gonna do here is peel my pepper. I don't mind a little bit of that black skin in my salad. I just like to cut it in half, pull out the core. We're just gonna dice it like we did with the other vegetables. Greasing this bowl. It's gonna help get all of this mixture out easier. Might as well use that lard. I feel like I should be putting it into the bowl with a spoon, just as long as it gets in. It smells very corny. Push it all around. I'm gonna put this in a preheated 350 degree oven, and we'll see what comes out. And while it's baking, we're gonna barbecue our chicken. Our stock is at a boil. We're gonna season this up. Fair amount of salt, we can add our pasta in. And I'm gonna let this cook for about eight to 10 minutes. I'm gonna undercook it slightly. The pasta is done. How do I know it's done? I taste it. It's nice. It's still got a little chew to it. I don't want it to be cooked all the way. Strain it really good. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna chill it directly on the tray. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on it and I'm gonna spread it out and let it cool. This way I retain some of that chicken flavor. I retain some of that salt. I'm not just gonna rinse it off. Now we can assemble the salad. Season it up really well. Salt, pepper, some neutral oil, a little bit of distilled vinegar. You don't wanna go too crazy with this. Give it a good stir and that's good. I'm gonna throw this in the fridge and let it chill and in the meantime, I can grill the chicken skewers. I have a screaming hot grill pan. I'm gonna get this chicken on, skin side down. I'm gonna grill this chicken most of the way before I put the barbecue sauce on. It is time to grill my chicken skewers. I have a cast iron grill pan that goes on top of my stove. I am gonna season them again. A little black pepper, a little more salt. So you just take the skewer, plop it on. You hear that sizzle? That means my grill pan is hot. It's gonna stick just a little. Let it cook, it'll free itself up, and when it does, we can turn them. See how it came up nice and easy? You always know when you can turn because it will release. I think I can get a few more pieces on now. My little bitty wing pieces. Looking great, right? Nice grill marks. So I think I'm gonna start saucing them. Get a little saucing. This smells heavenly. I'm gonna give a little bit of a brushing of the barbecue sauce just to kind of get it nice glazed on there. Dab it all over, let's get that flavor on that chicken. 
Ooh, look at that, getting nice and caramelized. These are looking good. I'm gonna put them aside on the rack, let them rest. I'm gonna get the thermometer. This is done. I'm looking for 165 to make sure I don't serve chef some raw chicken. Now that my chicken's all done, I'm gonna go get my fresh corn spoon bread and we'll plate it all up. We finally have everything ready to go and we can plate. Whenever I do cold salads, I like to re-season. Flavors get subdued by cold. Needs more salt, needs more vinegar. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like a line down the center of my plate so that my skewer will have somewhere to sit and make an X. This fresh corn spoon bread looks amazing. It's like a corn pudding. Get a leg and a breast, a little more barbecue sauce. Make it a little chefy, and I think we're good. Some of my barbecue sauce that I'm just gonna drizzle around so that we can dip our, our meat into it if we want. Barbecue salt, and then I have my chicken skin that I'm just gonna do really like big, nice chunks of chicken skin kind of hanging around. Here's my take on Chef Frank's hickory smoked barbecue chicken and fresh corn spoon bread. So here's my take on Beth's dish. Alabama white barbecue sauce chicken skewer, toasted pasta salad, crispy chicken skin, and some barbecue salt. It looks absolutely delicious. I hope Frank likes it. Hey Beth, how's it going? So <laughs> It's been a long time, huh? Too long, I you know, look great. You, you look great too. You're an accomplished cook, so I know it wasn't that hard. I never made barbecue sauce yeah. before, and I've never heard of spoon bread. Ooh. That's really pretty. Oh, thank you very much. Not you even, made this so much better. It's not even close to what you told me to do. But this looks great. It's simple, uh, it's not complicated, and it's gonna be delicious, I know it. It looks nice and hot and ready to go. Yeah, I wanna try So let's that. try yours, and then we'll try mine. That is so good. That's delicious. It's tender. I wanna try the, the spoon bread. Mm. It's a little sweet. I'd much rather put the sweetness in here than in the barbecue sauce. But this with the barbecue sauce. You know, just because I'm a chef doesn't mean everything needs to be fancy. This, this like, is like soul food. Like, it makes you happy, you know? Ordinarily, I would oh, yeah. pick this up. So I've, you've never used a smoker before? I've never used a smoker before. I love when I can get Beth to do things she's never done. <laughs> it's just so great. <laughs> There's a lot of love in this plate, I can see it. <laughs> I will, I love you. I really am excited to taste what you did with my ingredients. What do you think? That's beautiful. That's a beautiful <laughs> plate. The macaroni is brown. We yes. have a brown theme today. I worked at a Middle Eastern Mediterranean restaurant and we used to toast our orzo like brown. Wow. And then you cook it and it kind of like has a nutty flavor to it. So wow. I did the same thing with the elbows here. I used the mayonnaise for other stuff. I made a Alabama white barbecue sauce. Have you ever heard of that? No. What is uh, this? Chicken skin. Chicken skin. Yeah, how is that? Oh man, that's good. <laughs> it was like crispy chicken skin. I'm gonna try the pasta first. I'm gonna try the chicken. See if it stayed nice and moist. Baking that macaroni really changes the yeah, flavor. It does. I don't know if you can taste the wow. barbecue salt on that. The mayonnaise is okay though. Mayonnaise is great. Yeah, good. Barbecue party with Beth and Frank. <laughs>